bring it back just the final one on the Fiji performance. Obviously, so disappointing for Joey Carbier. I thought did pretty well. Matt sort of mentioned that in studio. But a word on Jack Crowley and the other debutants, Al, they impress you? Um, yeah, they did. I think um, didn't get a huge uh, amount of of opportunity. Um, and, and, you know, it was such a stop, stop start game. I think um, it was great to see Keane Prendergast get on. Um, Jack Crowley and obviously Jeremy Lockman started the game. So, again, it's um, a special moment when you win your first cap. And it's not always a kind of a, a razzmatazz fanfare. Sometimes it can be a little bit like this, but you can be sure those players were absolutely incredibly proud on Saturday evening, and um, it's a great moment for them. Um, I, I think they, um, for all three, it was stop-start, wasn't it? So it was difficult, and there wasn't that kind of continuous flow to the game for Jeremy Lockman to make. You know, he did well. He made a lot of good carries. He had a plenty of involvements, same as Keane Prendergast when he came on. He's a very abrasive player, big physical guy. Um, I think his ceiling can can kind of grow a lot higher as well. Um, I think Jack Crowley looked composed. And, you know, if you think you're halfbacks in a situation like that in pivotal positions, um, I think his body language in the last number of weeks has impressed people and and, and his skill set, his footwork, um, his physicality, I think um, people are starting to really kind of get a feeling by those actions that there's more to come from this guy. There's a lot of talk, um, obviously, um, how he's impressed um, Irish squad players in training and, and um, the way he's kind of trained with the squad and, um, and, and stepped up there. So... You know, a lot of stuff happens in squad sessions, and Matt will know this. And behind the scenes, you bring in a young one of you two younger players into your national side, and everybody goes, "Wow, this guy is." Uh, you know, there's something there. So, there, of course, there's something there. It's not new because uh, um, Jack Crowley was um, outstanding for the under twenties two years ago. Very dominant, very direct, um, loads of great skills. So. Um, there is a hope that that can, uh, and you know, it's looking like he's going to be on the bench this week, and and um, he's accelerated into a really good position. I just really feel sorry for Joey Carberry again because we're Matt and I both spoke about this with you last week, and we're talking about getting some consistency. I was talking, um, nudging towards um, Joey Carberry getting through Fiji, good performance. Coming off for on 65, 70 minutes when the job is done, Jack Crowley getting his cap, but Carberry starting against Australia. Mm, me too. No. Me and too. That's for obvious reasons that we just want to see more of Joey Carberry in against the top tier one nations. Yeah. And you know, I said this and it's a fact. Johnny Sexton would be saying, No, I'm playing, I want to play every minute I can. Yeah. And he's right, and that would have happened. But for for that depth and for Joey Carberry and to try and get some more of that bit of swagger that we know he has out of him on a consistent basis. And, um, you know, if, if there was an injury that he's more prepared, there's more stuff in the bank. So it didn't happen. So I feel, I really feel sorry for him again, but I think Crowley now could, you know, he could actually ask a question or two here, depending what it is. It's very early days. And, you know, Australia are going to be tough on Saturday night. They're going to be really reacting from that loss to Italy. And it's 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 a tough environment. But it's a great position and a great opportunity for Jack Crowley. Yeah, let's hope we see Joey back out there. But Jack Crowley looks like an absolute player. 